Hi Arlene, Mary Kate here. I wanted to respond to your post this week. I did the current trend, so I decided to read somebody else's post about a different topic. Um, I liked many of the um, different Web 2.0 tools that you used. Several of them I have also used. Um, most of them, I'd say about three out of, I think you mentioned five, I've done with students. I teach grades three to five, and I found them almost all helpful and fun at the same time. I think keeping things fun, fresh, and um, a little innovative always helps with the motivation with students. Twitter, uh, I have not done the actual Twitter, but what I've done is I teach an iPad class with kids, and I had them find a news article and then they had to write me a tweet, literally it was on a post-it because they're young kids and I don't want them on the internet and doing Twitter that way, but we just made it a tweet on a post-it and then I taught them the, the kid-friendly version of hashtags and they had to give me a one-word hashtag which was an adjective. So it was almost like reading informational text and then summarizing with a tweet and then giving me an adjective which was in their hashtag. Of course, they didn't tell them that it was summarizing and adjectives, just trying to give them those kind of practice skills in a fun and different way. Um, I love, again, like you mentioned, that a lot of the new programs like Google are shared and in real time. I find this so useful and frustrating when at work right now we don't have a collaborative um, web-based email and it's very aggravating. We actually are trying to do surveys now to get information on our literacy committee and our technology committee and I keep going back to the Google Forms because it's really the best way to, uh, for me to get information, have it gathered quickly and free. Um, Prezi, I used once with students. I'm not as scared of it as I was before so I'm looking forward to doing that again in the future. And the other one was Wordle that um, you mentioned. I loved that one. I did that one this year with fourth graders, and I learned how to bring in a graphic. So we were studying New Jersey. I brought in a graphic. Uh, has to be a solid graphic, and um, you can import the words into it. So we made all their words that they'd learned about New Jersey into the Wordle. It was really fun, very artsy, but also gave them an, a creative outlet to use for their research which they may have thought it was boring. So great post. Thanks for um, just keeping me and um, the rest of us up to date on what you're doing and ways that we can apply it. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.